This is a video by Richpin. Today we're working on a Saturn S series. And what we're doing today is we are replacing the automatic transmission filter and fluid. The first thing we want to do is get the vehicle on a level surface, warm it up, and then we want to check the fluid. The reason we want to do that is we want to find out what the level is before we start. If it's at the correct level, all we have to do is drain the fluid, measure it, and put the exact amount of fluid in, and it'll be right where it should be. So just take out your stick. And then find out what your level is. Next thing we need to do is drive the vehicle up on some ramps and then get underneath and look for the drain plug. Here it is right here. It's way on the bottom of the transaxle and it's a 15 millimeter. And be a little careful. The fluid might be a little warm. Okay. Yes, so now we need to let that drain. Now, while the fluid is draining, the next thing we need to do is to take off the air duct and the top of the air box cover here. We got four clips over on the air box cover. And then we have this clamp right here on the throttle body and once we get that we can remove the assembly get that out of the way next we need to remove this resonator box here it's held on by this little push pin here remove that and just pull out this little resonator box next thing I did was loosen the three 10 millimeter head bolts that secure the box to the car. There's two in the back, one here in the front. And then we leave the bolts in place so we don't drop them taking them out. Now, slide this ho hose a little bit towards the engine and then we can pull the box out and the bolts will stay right there. Now, when we get it up into this position right here, we are still connected but to the air temp sensor. So we want to squeeze the connector and pull it off. Now we can remove the box. Now once we got that air box out of the way, you can see the filter. That's that red object right here. That's the filter that we need to remove and replace. You'll need a filter wrench like this. Get that on there. Now make sure you have a, another container underneath there. Okay, we got that loose. Now we should be able to remove that by hand. And here comes the fluid. And there is no magnet in there. So somebody's been in here and they did not replace the magnet. So we're not going to deal with that. Now if you do have the magnet still on yours, you want to clean the magnet and put it back in your new filter. Now remember, when you refill your transmission, you want to use Dextron 3, automatic transmission fluid. Take a little bit of the fluid here and put that on your gasket before you put your new filter in. Now when you put your new filter in place, just treat it as you would an oil filter. You don't want to use a wrench. Just do it by hand. Okay. 
There we go. It's all in. Now that our transmission filter is all in, we can put the air box back in. Make sure that the air temp sensor goes back in. Okay, now all we have to do is tighten our bolts down. The uh, transaxle has been draining for about an hour. It's just down to a little drip now. Make sure you clean your drain plug before you put it in. There we go. Next thing we want to do is to get a empty container. We probably need two containers because it will be over a gallon. And we want to pour it in, measure it exactly, and put in the same amount of transmission fluid that we took out. And we might have to add just a little bit more for the filter. Now that we know how much fluid we took out, we can start putting in our new fluid. You want to remove the red handled stick right here to the transmission. That's the dipstick. And you'll need an appropriate funnel, something like this right here. And we'll put that right in the tube. And make sure that the fluid is Dextron 3. And all we have to do is put in the same amount of fluid as we took out. Now after we get the fluid in there, we can put our air duct back in place. And then we can start it up. Drive it outside, on, heat it up, get it on a flat surface, recheck the transmission, and then fill it, bring it up to the full mark if it needs to. And uh, that's it. That's all there is to changing your transmission filter and fluid on your Saturn S series.